All right, what we're doing, folks, is the tide is pretty much slack here at the Skyway, so I've got the motor in reverse, which is creating a false current, which gets these bait fish. Actually, Chad, we need to go on this side. Which well, gets... you got your stuff all over. I can't even get over it. You spread out. So what? It, anyway, it's creating a false current, and this is where the bait fish are stacking up because the motor's creating a false current, which is pushing that bait out this way. And that's all it takes right there is one throw of the net we filled the live well next one we're gonna set up for chum this was a brand new 10 foot quarter 1.3 pounds per foot net right out of the right out of the bag butter butter Butter, butter, butter. And you can see the net on the bottom. That's how clear the water is. Boom. We're done. We're done. We're done. Two and three. Sardine or two in there. And just like that, folks, we are done. Two and through. See, that's why when I'm at the Skyway, that's why I like to, to be on anchor in this situation, simply because of being able to keep that boat in reverse like that and create a, that false current. It allows us to um, create that false current and get that bait up into the chum because the the bait likes to disperse when it's not, uh, when the current's not running. So by creating that false current, it allows that bait to come up into the chum and me to throw my net right where that current is. So it, it works every single time we do it. So if you're in a situation in deep water and there's no tidal flow, if your anchor can hold you in reverse, then that's what I recommend doing. That's a trick that I've used for years as Chad's peeing off the side of the boat. <laughs> I'm making a current. What you got? I don't know. That's a good one. Yeah, like a mango. Yeah, that's a good. Oh, it is good. Spitting up all your all shrimps. shrimps. <laughs> Uh, he's spitting up. Hey, I thought it was a big mangrove. I did too. Well, you kind of did it all. Folks, what we're doing is Chad is ever so slightly putting out cut uh, dead shrimp chumming it i'm chumming with dead live white bait dead live bait <laughs> and i'm using a slacker jig brian's caught a scamp chad's caught 
some snapper and grunts. I caught snapper and grouper. That's one thing we're all doing differently right now is we're all different we're using different baits to see which one's going to produce. And so far, they've all produced. So, GoPro, don't you just love those break off? It didn't even break me off. Nope, just pulled the hook. Hi, my name is Brian. <laughs> Poor Brian. Get him, kid! Ooh, what is that? A gag? He might. He might. He's going to be close. Right on the slacker. He's going to be close. <laughs> That's okay, Mike said, I, I asked Mike yesterday, I said, hey Mike, I said, I caught a gag about that size, I said, do you think if I throw them in the cooler, you could get me off? And he chuckled and he goes, no. <laughs> I'm like, come on, man, you're the lawyer, aren't you? <laughs> practically pulled your pole in the water. No, it didn't. <laughs> He's speechless, folks. He's speechless. <laughs> I thought that was a big snapper you had. I did too. Especially the way you started starting. Just like that one. Yeah. That's because mine is a big snapper. I got you, Chad. I was going to say, I thought my line took off like you had me. Sorry, Chad. Get me off the ladder. See, folks, using these slackers. Brian, did you go to... Ah, oh, Brian finally went to the slacker. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. Now, you have a 7 foot 6 pole? Yeah. So I'd probably go out, oh, eight? Yeah. I would go out eight or five poles. Get him, Chad. Yeah, I just saw him. Yeah, buddy. Nice one. So what did I say, five poles? Yeah, and then I would start feeling it by hand. Yeah. Brian, yes. I love you, man. <laughs> Get him, Chad. Chad's a wiggle. Better snack him. Nope, Get him, Brian. We got a rare unicorn fish. Got a rare unicorn. We are doubled up. I've got a massive grunt. <laughs> I don't think yours is a grunt. Mine ain't grunt. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, gag. I, didn't, I wasn't thinking that. No, I wasn't. Hey, Brian. What's going on? Just observing. Just observing. Another gag, another gag. <laughs> 
catching them on everything. Pinfish, shrimp, Chad caught a hogfish, dead bait, slackers, candy apple red or candy apple pink, juice, uh, jigs. Hogfish on a stinky pinky. The bite has been really good. Two or three. <laughs> big, big gag. No, big it's a hog. big hogfish. Wow. Look at that one. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That is a good There's one. There's a piggy. <laughs> the title of this video is Welcome to the Pig Pen. Look at the knot on his nose. Dang. It's a unicorn hog. Glad I talked you into staying a little bit longer. Yeah, I know, right? I was just about to say, let's pull up to another spot. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Look at this guy. Got another piggy. Just had to get away from the grunts. Yeah. Grunts are cool. What you got there, Chad? Got a hogfish with <laughs> dingleberries. <laughs> I think it's a male. Oh, Lord. How many did you catch today, Chad? There's four in here, and I think I threw two back. Wow. You're the, you are the hogfish king. So what's going to happen is uh, we're going to do a catch, clean, and cook. Well, probably not the clean part because I'm in editing a video right now. So I'm trying to get it done. But... Um, Anyway, we're going to do a catch, clean, and cook tonight. We're going to do hogfish. My wife has finally agreed to do another uh, cooking segment. So I think she just wants to show off her new kitchen, to be honest with you. But anyway, we're going to do that. We had a great day offshore, caught a ton of fish. I want to thank everybody for watching. We really appreciate everybody for the support. It's awesome. Again, we have gift cards on the website, $25 to $200. You, If you want to buy something for somebody that you're not sure what to get them, especially if they love the fish, then get them a gift certificate from Tampa Bay Fishing Channel. You can get them right online at tampabayfishingchannel.com. Thanks again for all the support. We appreciate it. Fish more, catch more, and we'll see you on the flip side.